So here are some example chemicals to figure out whether when they're dissolved in water will they turn the water acidic, basic, or will they keep the water neutral. So all of these are salts. So the first thing to do is dissociate that salt. Potassium bromide, you form the potassium cation and bromide anion. If you analyze the cation, potassium plus, that's a group 1 cation. And group 1 cations are neutral in terms of acid or base. Therefore, the potassium plus doesn't react with water. And then we can look at the bromide. Bromide, you check an anion by adding an H plus to it, and that makes hydrobromic acid. Hydrobromic acid is a strong acid. Bromide is the conjugate of that strong acid, and the conjugate of a strong acid is not a base, it's neutral. So the cation is neutral, the anion is neutral. Nothing reacts with water, so potassium bromide will keep the water at a neutral pH. Sodium nitrite, here's polyatomic anion nitrite. If you recognize that, that makes it much easier to dissociate this correctly. Potassium, or sodium plus, rather, that's also a group 1 cation, just like potassium, so that's neutral. Nitrate, we're going to, nitrate rather, we're going to test by adding an H plus to it, and that makes nitrous acid. Nitrous acid is a weak acid. So the original chemical that came from the salt is its conjugate. That chemical is a base, and it's not a strong base, therefore it must be a weak base. So the nitrite in water will turn the water basic because it increases the amount of hydroxide. Here's another one where you can recognize the anion, the polyatomic nitrate. So this is where this will, this salt is going to dissociate. We're going to make CH3 NH3 plus and NO3 minus. Let's test the nitrate. You add an H plus and you make HNO3. HNO3 is Similar to the last one we did, however, this is a strong acid, and that makes the nitrate neutral. The conjugate of a strong acid is neutral. The cation we're going to check, a polyatomic cation, you take away an H+, and you're left with CH3 and H2, methylamine. That is a chemical that has a Kb, that's a weak base, Therefore, this cation will turn the water acidic. It's a weak acid. If you wrote out the reaction in water, CH3NH3 plus will donate a proton to the water. It's a weak acid, so it makes an equilibrium. It's producing more hydronium, which is turning the water acidic. Then the last one, NH4F, ammonium fluoride, dissociates into the ammonium cation and fluoride anion. The cation, we're going to check by subtracting an H+, and we find a weak base. That means NH4 plus is an acid, and it's not a strong acid, therefore it's weak. Fluoride, we check by adding an H+, plus and we get HF, a weak acid. The conjugate of a weak acid is a base, and fluoride is not a strong base, therefore it's a weak base. So in this case, we have two possible reactions with water, NH4 plus and F minus. This is another one when both ions react with water, We're not going to do ice charts to calculate the pH. We just want to know whether the pH should be acidic, basic, or neutral. 
And so what you do in a case like this, when both react, is you compare the Ka and the Kb. Whichever one is larger, that's going to be the one that controls the pH. So we can find the Ka of NH4+. Plus. That's Kw divided by Kb of its conjugate, NH3. Kw, 10 to the negative 14. You can look up Kb of ammonia, 1.76 or 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So there is the Ka value for the cation. We're going to do the same thing and find Kb of the fluoride anion. Ka of hydrofluoric acid, 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. So looking at those two values, 10 to the negative tenth is a larger value than 10 to the negative eleventh. The weak acid wins, and this salt will be acidic.